Smartwatches are cool, they just are. It's super cool to have a gadget on your wrist that tells you the time and also text messages and notifications or GPS or fitness or whatever it is that you think a smartwatch would be able to do. Most of them can do that these days. So we ordered six no-name smartwatches off Amazon that actually get pretty good reviews. So we want to take a look at each of these, do a little unboxing on them and review them and see what you actually get for a $30, $40, $50 smartwatch. <laughs> So most of these smartwatches are literally just named smartwatches. And this is what you'll find when you search on Amazon. So we're actually gonna start with one called Smartwatches for Kids, which actually is made by a brand that is just a bunch of letters. It is literally letters. L, J, R, Y, C. It's just a bunch of letters. Let's uh, see what the inside looks like. Now this has a five-star rating on Amazon out of 19 reviews and retails for $36.99. At least it's not stiff. If it's too stiff of a band, then it could be irritating. So this might be pretty comfortable on the wrist. Have micro USB charging here. So we have buttons here. Pretty easily clickable actually. Nice spring to them. You have the microphone as well as a video camera, which I think is unique to this batch here. Comes with the micro USB charger and a little instruction guide. Next we have the Newcoin smartwatch, which retails for $38.99 and it has... Hey kids, Corey from the future here. Unfortunately, after our weeks of testing, the Newcoin smartware watch is no longer available, so we'll be removing it from our review. Back to the past. Next we have the Bingo Fit Fitness Tracker. Um, my expectations are a little high on this one. It says that it can do heart rate monitor as well as blood pressure monitoring and also tracks period menstrual cycles. Ooh, nice felt bag. Pretty nice so far. And here we are. Definitely reminds me of the Samsung Galaxy Active with its round shape and texture very rounded in the back end on the sides and soft silicone band which is nice to have again not too stiff heart rate monitor on the back looks like you have a proprietary charger for this guy right here in the back and oh, it just vibrated i turned it on somehow user manual inside looks like it also comes with its own screen protector that's cool and it carries a four star review out of 281 reviews on Amazon. Next we have the Boslin smartwatch, B-O-Z-L-U-N. Retails for $54.99 and it has about a three star rating out of 296 reviews. You can see by the box actually that it's a definitely little bit of a step down. It is shipped just like this, wide open, everything just ready to hang out here. Slip it off and here it is, already attached to the charger. Very much a different kind of unboxing experience. It's just exposed the whole time. That's fine, I guess I could rinse it off. It is IP68 water resistant. Kind of reminds me of Misfit with their kind of coin-shaped fitness trackers. You can see another proprietary charger, very similar looking, magnetic. Pops right on there. Okay, next we have my favorite one, the You Win Mo. It's really just my favorite for the name because I really like the idea that you win Mo when you get this. Four out of five star review out of 14 customer reviews, not a ton. Some of them had a little bit more, but for $58.99, and all that this promises, four out of five stars might be pretty good. Oh, sweet little card, thank you. Looks like a real smartwatch. Not that the others looked fake, but looks like it might be a real timepiece. Uh, we have a leather strap here. We have to double check if this is real leather. Let's, doesn't smell like it, but we'll double check. I'm gonna double check that. Smell test isn't always accurate. <laughs> kind of a nice classic watch look to it. It has your heart rate monitor and claims to do blood pressure as well. I'm sure claims like these are not FDA regulated, but we'll double check that. Another proprietary charger. Oh, this is where things go a little sideways. That is not a great look. That's strange. Okay, here we go. For such an elegant watch, this is the opposite of an elegant charger. Last but not least, we have the Fit V or Fit 7 or Fit version 2? I'm not sure, but it's very confusing. This is actually $89, but we saw it for a Prime Lightning deal for $64, so perhaps you can get that. Um, but this has four stars out of five with 386 customer reviews. 
All right, let's let's get to it. 5 ATM, waterproofing. That's definitely the highest we've seen of the bunch. Built-in GPS as well. All right, let's take a look what we got. Okay, and it's just a bunch, a jumbled mess. We have two chargers, one that has a twisty tie and one that does not, but that's fine. Two chargers is cool. I wish everything came with two chargers, honestly. Definitely a different look than the rest. Didn't try it to be circular. Two buttons on the side. So it's definitely reminiscent a bit of a Fitbit, and if you actually kind of look at their logo, that looks very Fitbit-esque. It's probably trying to trick you into thinking that it might be Fitbit. So we're back. After weeks of testing these devices on their smartwatch capabilities, fitness wearable capabilities, and in some cases, game watch capabilities. So let's take a look at the good, the bad, and the ugly. So we'll start with the Duo Wim Kids smartwatch, which is kind of a unique case because it's not actually really a smartwatch, it's kind of more like a little tablet in a watch form. So it's meant for kids between the ages of 3 and 11, and it's definitely marketed as such. It's very soft, plasticky, and has some cool little features. My first and favorite is the little camera up top, which is pretty easy and quick to just Press this little shortcut button, opens up the camera and take a quick selfie. Snaps a quick, not so great selfie, but kind of cool for kids to still mess around with or just take pictures of other things. This can also do video recordings and audio recordings. The UI itself has this kind of kid-friendly aesthetic that is very picture book-esque and looks like something that they'll have fun and enjoy interacting with. There's a few experiences on here, little games, and some of them are even meant to make them learn things like math or memory games, as well as just fun little illustrations for them to interact with. It comes in a variety of colors, blue, pink, purple, and for $40, it's a really nice introductory experience for the first screen for your child without having to go for those tablet level prices. Next, we have the Bingo Fit, which as I mentioned, immediately strikes me as a Galaxy Watch Active which is a good thing, until you realize that it has a square screen inside of a round face. Screens are definitely gonna be something you're gonna compromise on in a lot of these watches. Otherwise, with its rounded kind of aesthetic and metal case, it has a solid kind of feel to it, so you're not gonna feel the cheapness so much as you will see it in the screen. The next thing that you're gonna notice is that there's actually no touch screen on the device, just a touch sensitive area underneath that cycles through the different screens on the device. So each of these is a different app that you can go into by long pressing. It's a little frustrating that the carousel only goes one way, so you have to just click through the entire menu. But in the menu, you're gonna find a few different things, sleep tracking, sports tracking, which is pretty non-specific and only covers general sports. So you're not gonna get a lot of different activity tracking here. It is IP68 water resistant, so technically you could swim with it too, but it's not going to track that specifically for your strokes or your laps or anything like that. There's a heart rate monitor on here and Bingo Fit says that it can do blood pressure monitoring. Neither really seem too erratic with their results, but I definitely wouldn't use this as a full on medical device, but the heart rate monitor can give you a little bit of an idea of what you're doing physically. It also has removable straps with an easy release mechanism, so you can swap in something a little more style than the original silicone band. There's also period tracking for women's menstrual cycles, and you can also take notifications from different messaging apps, social media, calls, and text messages. So for 40 bucks, you're not gonna get very specific sports tracking, and maybe vital tracking that's a little in over its head, and a screen that is just a little square and not so great and easy to read in direct sunlight. Next, we have the Boslin smartwatch, which is a little bit of a smaller watch that has kind of a cute rounded aesthetic and a few different colors other than just this pink color. So you have the removable bands, which is nice, so you can swap things in and out and make it your own style. But the one thing that's missing, as it was on the Bingo Fit, is a touchscreen. So again, you have a touch sensitive area underneath that cycles through and only goes in one direction on the UI. Just like the Bingo Fit, you're not gonna find specialized sport tracking on here. It's gonna be more of a generalized mode that tracks some of your metrics. But you do have a heart rate monitor and GPS, as well as sleep and period tracking, which thankfully can all sync with Apple Health or Google Fit. In terms of your fitness tracking, we didn't find anything too crazy out of whack, but it was a little bit erratic and spotty with the GPS. So again, if fitness is your primary concern, it might be better to look into something like a cheaper Fitbit than perhaps one of these smartwatches. Without specific sports tracking, you can't track your strokes in a pool, but you can wear it in one with the IP68 water resistance. If you just want something that can take in notifications, as this can for text messages, social media, and other apps, and just want something that kind of looks cute, then for 50 bucks, it's not a bad option. 
Next, we have the Yu Winmo, which is again, my favorite name and coincidentally, my favorite style. It has a very classic smartwatch look to it. It's rounded and metal and has a faux leather strap, but it looks good and nobody would look twice at it and think that it wasn't some sort of regular smartwatch. That is, of course, until you take a little deeper look into the screen, which is square and a round face and not a touchscreen. Again, we have this touch sensitive area at the bottom that carousels through all of your different apps. So this one's a little bit unique in terms of what it offers over these other smartwatches. For instance, you have a camera shutter, which I unfortunately wasn't able to get working with my iPhone, but you also have music controls, which did work. You also have a sleep monitor as the others do, but the sports tracking actually has dedicated modes, about seven of them, but that is seven more than the rest of these have all together. You can also receive notifications from calls, text messages, and different apps, and the screen's actually a little bit brighter than some of these others, which might actually do better for you in sunlight. This can track your heart rate and blood pressure, but again, these are not FDA approved medical devices. So if fitness is your priority or specific vitals like this, then you may wanna look into other devices. So for 50 bucks, you're easily getting the best looking smartwatch out of the batch with a few little extra features in terms of the specific sports tracking, but I'm not sure that it is number one just yet. Last but not least, we have the Fit 7, which is clearly a little bit of a different aesthetic than the rest of these and kind of has a more plasticky feel to it than the last three too. You also have a different experience with these three buttons that help with turning it on and off or navigating through the OS. This is 5 ATM water resistant with a heart rate monitor, GPS, that can also do sleep tracking, as well as your steps and other calorie goals. Looking at the activity UI is very reminiscent of Apple's own activity rings, but you also get the most specialized sport tracking with 17 different modes on here. It's also easily the most intuitive UI out of all of these smartwatches, and I'm so very grateful for the swipe to go back function. When it comes to accuracy, for instance, the compass was not super accurate. I wouldn't recommend following it unless you want to get lost. There is a 10 message limit on the text messages, which is kind of lame. But other than that, this is the most robust UI out of all the smartwatches we've tested here. And for the very slight premium of about 10 to $15 more at 66 bucks, that's what you're going to pay for with this device, though you're going to lose a little bit of style. So if you're gonna go ahead with buying any of these watches or any kind of no-name smartwatch on Amazon, then I have two main cautions for you. Number one, not everything may always work as advertised. With all of these watches, there was at least one or two features here or there that just didn't work with my phone. So you wanna make sure that you have a decent return policy that will work with you being able to check that sort of thing out. Number two, if fitness and health is your priority, then it may just better serve you to go ahead with something a little bit more robust and better tested. Names like Fitbit, Withings, and even Apple and Samsung have gone through a certain amount of testing, whether it be with the FDA or other agencies, to ensure that some of their claims really stack up. While these watches can give you a bit of insight into your daily fitness, if health is a priority, it may behoove you to spend just a little bit more for something else. You may pick one of these for just how it looks, and honestly, I couldn't blame you because none of these really rises that far ahead of the others. But for my personal pick for the best value, I would say that the Yuin Mo wins once Mo. For its stylish looks, solid build quality, and dedicated sports tracking, the Yuin Mo is just a little bit better than the rest. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you have any experiences with off-brand tech on Amazon, please let us know about it in the comments below. Otherwise, make sure you stay tuned to digitaltrends.com for more tech stories.